नमस्कार फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई लाइक टू थैंक ऑल ऑफ यू फॉर योर सपोर्ट एंड अप्रिशिएशन ऑफ द लास्ट वीडियो माय ओनली ट्राई इन दिस सीरीज विल बी टू स्प्रेड सम गुड न्यूज टू स्प्रेड सम गुड फाइट्स एंड एट द सेम टाइम टेल यू द फैक्ट्स facts that i see as a medico facts that i see as a student of community medicine facts that i see as a covid warrior who has been fighting this battle right at the bottom in the last few days we all know that we have been hearing a lot of hue cry about one particular thing that is oxygen oxygen crisis is a very big thing in this country at this point of time many experts and non experts have their own opinions but why i do trust the print media is that at least the print media has the guts to publish the reality If you would check the Times of India of the last couple of days if you check the Odia Delhi of today the Samaj there are big headings written about the black marketing of oxygen cylinders almost every newspaper is carrying an advertise from a state of this country appealing to the industries to the different states provide cryogenic tankers for transport of oxygen and the news that is there india is importing tankers from friendly nations all this is not meaning that oxygen is short in india a very famous political leader from a very high to do political family had once said that the government of the day has pushed the largest oxygen producing country in the world into a oxygen short country these kinds of misinterpreted facts these kinds of uh, self helping figures or tweets are in a wrong in a long run harming our nation first of all let me tell you that india was india is and india will continue to be one of the largest oxygen producing nations in the world but what we need to realize is the oxygen that we are talking of the day is not just any oxygen it is medical oxygen we must understand that in a pandemic like situation it is never easy to predict who requires what amount of oxygen but yes i must say that the government of the day must admit to a lacune that it didn't bother to build up the oxygen medical oxygen capacity of the country few days back there was an announcement that all the 550 plus districts of uh, this country the district headquarters would be having oxygen plants from the pm care fund that's good decision but we must think that this decision should have happened much bad we have just seen the first wave of covid go we were waiting for the second wave and a third wave and a fourth wave we never thought of building the oxygen plants in the district headquarters in our setup district headquarters are as good as any tertiary healthcare center every district headquarter needs to have an oxygen plant it needs to have a central line supply of oxygen these things none of us ever bothered the memes are actually 
quite pragmatic nowadays where one said that hum to mandir masjid mein reh gaye hospital ka to kabhi poocha hi nahi to banayega kaun it is very true on the 73 years of independence maybe it's just 3 to 4 years that india has spent heavily in its health infrastructure and when this health infrastructure is not spent properly these kinds of crises do come but again having said this i don't want to blame the government of the day wholly for this kind of an temporary oxygen crisis some problem or some fault is also within us and that fault is our greed in relation to the mineral richness of this country the father of the nation had said that god has provided us enough for every man's need but not every man's greed why i am saying this is very simple in the big cities last time when everybody knew that oxygen was a have up every patient suffering from covid was having a dip in the saturation for which they needed oxygen so the smart guys they bought the oxygen cylinders today when there is a shortage those cylinders are being sold in sky high rates and that's how the black market works in 2016 when my grandmother was suffering from restrictive lung disease in which she used to require almost 3 to 4 cylinders of oxygen every day to survive one cylinder one cylinder of 15 liters around used to cost us around 1200 to 1500 rupees but today that particular cylinder is being sold in thousands and lakhs that's what we have done and that's why the crisis is every state has industry every state has private hospital with an oxygen facility yet there is a deficiency of oxygen in other places have we ever analyzed this that ad that for of that particular state calling for cryogenic tankers for transport of oxygen is itself evident that we are not running short of oxygen rather we are running short of oxygen storing equipments and oxygen storing cylinders now that is something that all of us need to work together to solve but we will never do that the next problem with oxygen crisis is with our profession i have managed covid hospital in the last wave and i know how difficult it is to reach out to people with oxygen cylinders when there is no central line arrangement when there is no central supply of oxygen the only supply we are dependent on is the cylinder and that cylinder literally leads to be moved from one patient to the other and in that i have seen people booking one one cylinders for their own self even if when their god damn saturation is above 93 they would not share that with the other person i have seen that the same thing goes with cylinder with the central line we are so hard pressed we are so obsessed with 100 person that we don't realize that even 90 person is good 
there is a lot of pressure so just turn on the button and let the uh, patient uh, take take lot of concentrated oxygen and have a saturation of 100 percent now what does that do it ultimately either hypo or hyperventilates the patient it makes the patient drowsy it makes the throat dry it has all other consequences but still we need that hundred percent we are wasting every unit of oxygen in the race of attaining hundred percent in covid if your saturation is above 93 you don't require oxygen at all if your saturation is between 85 to 93 simple breathing exercises proning position and other chest physiologies will improve your oxygen saturation you don't require an oxygen even below between 80 to 85 you don't require an oxygen supply 24 7 you need it intermittently and use it intermittently i would like to share my experience of managing a covid hospital we were in a periphery and we were dependent on our main branch in the center of the city some 200 kilometers away from the periphery so every day the oxygen cylinders filled in oxygen cylinders had to come to us but then there was some problem we were not getting enough oxygen so all of a sudden there was an increased patient flow we had 20 cylinders and with 20 cylinders we had to manage near about 50 patients requiring oxygen how did we do that we did it with basic physiological knowledge about breathing a person who was getting 85 86 was just panicking by seeing the pulse oximeter gave him some oxygen for 15 minutes then shifted to the next bed a person was having somewhere around 60 70 he was not complaining but then we were forcing him to take oxygen these kinds of things are there I know these are tiring times, it is easy to say, but I'm not saying it just like that. I've done it on ground. You need to cut short the wastage of oxygen. Even in the ICUs, even in the wards. Of course, in the ICUs we cannot. Because they are critically ill patients, they would require support 24-7. But in the wards, in the wards we can definitely work on it. We can definitely reduce our oxygen wastage. This oxygen wastage is also a reason for oxygen prices. And the next thing about this oxygen crisis is our panic. We read a lot of Google experts and think that we need an oxygen. We keep checking our pulse oximeter every now and then the saturation fluctuates. It will fluctuate in a day, but then you need to fix a time when to check. I am not telling this because we are running short of oxygen. I am telling this because we need to be judicious enough in using this oxygen. This oxygen is precious and we need to use it in a right way so that everyone gets when he or she requires. I am very proud that I belong to Orissa that is exporting oxygen to other parts of the country. How are we doing that? Are we not worried about our shortage? Certainly we are not because we have taken steps to build oxygen plants. We have taken steps to divert the industrial oxygens. And in a way, I guess with an early check, 
the blood marketing of oxygen cylinders that has just started in the state will be curbed. And if that is done, then we will continue to leave this country in the supply of oxygen. We must learn that one needs to survive in a society. And to survive in a society, you need to be sharing. You need to be caring. You can't be all selfish. Yes, we should have increased our oxygen transport and oxygen storage facilities. Yes, we should have had more better oxygen uses policies. Yes, we should have seen this coming. But this has come, so now it's time we come together, we fight it. This oxygen crisis will be over in a week's time. But after that, remember, every oxygen is important. Save oxygen, save life. Use that much that is required. Thank you.